Hi everyone, this is Connie's Creative Creations, and I am Connie. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you can hit that subscribe button, it's free to you, but it helps my channel grow. Also hit that notification bell twice, and you will get notified every time I upload a video. Plus, if give me a thumbs up and comment. I love comments. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Now, I'll get to the information about this challenge in a couple of minutes, but let's get right into this, the first project. Okay, I went out to my garage. In fact, everything I make today is from reclaimed wood. So, I cut uh, all these pieces out, and they're all different sizes, and I am painting them with Waverly's Crimson, and I'm not doing the backs or the bottoms, but I'm doing all the rest of it. I was getting these all completely coated. Once those are done and they get dry, then I'm going to show you the embellishment that I do. Now, with this being um, the recreation inspiration, see one, do one, teach one, it means I am recreating from another uh, crafter. So, the crafter that I am recreating her uh, DIYs is uh, from D from She's So Crafty. So, um, all three of the pro my projects is from her. I love her stuff. She's so kind and just an amazing crafter. So, as you can see, I am now painting uh, letters on these um, blocks and I am just putting one letter on each block and you will see in just a moment um, what they end up looking like. Now I did not uh, like sand the corners or rough it up but you will see I end up um, writing the word believe and this is sort of uh, Ray Dunn-like. Um, I really like these tall, skinny letters. And so that's kind of what it resemble, resembles. And as I finish up, you will see at the end my final as well as Dee's final, um, her project that she did. And you'll see they're pretty reminiscent of each other. Um, they're not exact. I'm not going for exact, but they're fairly close. So I'm doing the last letter here and then I... And they'll stand on their own, so I'm not doing any other embellishments, just the lettering. So once I get this done, then this project will be. And here is my believe, and then here is Dee's believe. So I hope you guys like these. Now let's get into the information. Now, this is my um, challenge, and I have Amanda as my co-host, and today our special guest is D from Z9 Designs. She's an amazing crafter. You're going to want to go down into the description box. It's going to have Amanda and Cindy's channel links as well as the playlist. You'll want to check it all out. It's going to be amazing. Let's get back to the projects. Here is four more pieces of wood that I cut out. And um, two of them are 
uh, like plywood to are just pieces of wood. These are reclaimed from different projects or pallets. Uh, I think these are all just from other projects that I did. So I'm getting those all sanded. Then I'm going to paint them with Folk Arts White Adirondack Chalk Paint. I'm going to get all three of these completely finished painting them. And then we're going to move on to more of the embellishments on all of these. And I'm the same thing. I'm not doing the backs. I'm not doing the bottoms. Now this piece had a piece of wood that was glued with wood glue on it and it won't come apart. Plus it has nails in it that I can't get out either. So it doesn't matter. It'll just be there. So I'm just getting these all painted up and then we'll move on. I'm just getting the, this last one all painted. I only had to put one coat on all but two of them had some um, of the color of the wood coming through. So I had to do some touch ups on that. I don't show you, but I am getting this finished. And then I'm going to, once it's dry, we'll get to the embellishments of this project. Now I'm taking Folk Arts Black with um, a little stipple brush and I'm just dry brushing this black onto the white just so that it doesn't look just pure spinking white. So I'm just getting this all done and then we'll start with the, um, the rest of the projects or the rest of this project. Now D used a buffalo check ribbon. I didn't have any thicker buffalo check, so I just used this white and black stripe from Sam's, and I'm just going to make it look like a present. Now, it doesn't look exactly like hers, and that's okay, because like I said, I wasn't trying to make it a perfect. Now, I could have used my red and black buffalo check but I just decided to go ahead and do this one once these are all done then I will I'm adding some blocks on the back so they will stay standing up and then I'm going to do some embellishments on the front can see I'm putting some little greenery and little balls. These are from uh, uh, floral picks from last year's at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just getting these all done and then this project is going to be finished. Okay, now that it's finished, here is my reveal, and then you're going to see Dee's reveal on hers. So they're not the same, but hey, let's get back to the next project. Okay, this is three pieces of wood from my fence that, that was knocked down, and I, am, uh, I just cut them, sanded them a little bit, and then I used a brace from it to be like, to hold these together. Dee's did not was not hooked to anything they were just loose but I wanted to hook this to it and I'm taking my white Adirondack uh, paint and I am just painting um, these little uh, uh, 
pictures on them. And you'll see at the end what these ended up looking like. As you can see, this is a Christmas tree. And then you will see as I do the other ones. And you can see they're all different styles of Christmas trees that I painted with a small brush. And uh, I'm just getting these all done. Then I'm going to grab a little a bit of embellishment before I hook them to the wood base on the bottom. Okay, I am finished with these and now I grabbed some jute and some pit berries from the Dollar Tree and these are dark red and I was going to go ahead and put the base on and then I thought, you know what, it's going to be easier to put the jute and the uh, pit berries on them and I just put the jute on this one, it'll be in the center and then the pit berries on the other two. So I'm going ahead and I'm getting this all on and then I will go ahead and hook these to the base and then this project's going to be finished. Now I didn't use this whole uh, bundle because it didn't take very much. I only put a f like four or five wraps around it and you'll see that um, and that's what um, D had done on hers. So and I will have her uh, channel link in my description box as well so that you can see how she made hers um, so yeah and here I am now I'm not sure if these all came from the same video um, because I found them on her um, on her Instagram but I will put the links if there's more than one in my description box so I hope you guys really enjoy this one I love doing this one I am passing the uh, gauntlet, as you must say, or want to say, over to Amanda. I'm stepping down as the host. She's taking over, and so I know that she'll do justice for it. I am just going to be re revitalizing my channel, kind of changing things. I'm going to have a video up this coming week and you'll see that and um you'll see exactly what i'm going to be doing as you can see i'm getting it ready i'm going to use wood glue as well as hot glue wood glue will give it the long lasting hold 
and the uh, hot glue gives it the quick hold. So I hope you guys really, really like this, all of these projects. Um, I sure do like them. And now this is my final project, and then this one is Dee's final project. And I hope you guys really enjoy this. You guys all have the most blessed day. Call somebody and tell them you love them today. It might be exactly what they need to hear, as well as don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.